Hello and welcome to today. This is Maxine Davis, Spirit Being. You're joining me on Happy Blue Singer blog and thank you for joining me. Today I want to talk about something that is a little bit personal for me. I'm titling it, I finally know what I want that I've always wanted. I finally know what I want that I've always wanted. This past weekend, I listened to two audiobooks. I have the titles of the books in the written blog for today. And those books prompted me to take a survey of my life. And what I found is that no matter what job I had, no matter what um, organization I was connected to, whether it was a secular organization or a religious organization, I always found myself operating within two basic areas, within the music and also within uh, self-improvement as an encourager or training children to improve social skills. At the beginning of my last work year, I was prepared to, in fact, I had a lot of songs ready to share with, with kids that helped with behavior, improving behavior, positive words, positive perspective on things. My goal was to help improve the school climate. And in fact, I was setting up a, an online business to establish that. Well, uh, less than a week before the year was supposed to start, as I was walking out of the, the building, I uh, got the information that I'd been reassigned. And the reassignment somewhere, was somewhere that I never, ever would have chosen to go. By the time I got home, I was angry. Then I started checking to see, is there any way I can get out of this? Could not get out of it. So what, what was I supposed to do? I did what I've been doing every day. I went into meditation. Some people may call it prayer. But I went into meditation and asked the question, what, what am I supposed to do? How am I going to handle this? Well, the answer came, embrace it, embrace the change and see it as the universe giving you an opportunity to change or to grow. So I said, okay, I'll do that. It took me a little while, but I was able to change that perspective and to feel good about the reassignment. So by the time the school year started, my smile, my laughter came from the inside. And I spent the whole year, <laughs> I spent the whole year laughing. And people would wonder, what is she laughing about? How is she so happy? It's because I was focused on the opportunity. And as I focused on the opportunity, let me tell you what happened. The universe began to provide me with answers, information, um, connections. And by the end of the school year, I'd already created my first CD, which is titled Inside of You and Me. And it deals with or shares the message of the empowerment that we have in our lives that's inside of us. So that connected music with self-improvement and I love it I love it um, doing this brings me joy and as I move forward I know it, it'll bring me profit too but the key for me is that I'm operating now in what it is that is my joy what it is that is my passion what it is that is my gift and I didn't really realize that that's what I'd been doing, attempting to do without being consciously aware of it. So let me encourage you, if you're not operating in your life, what you do with your day, what you do with your, your work in a way that makes you feel good or in a way that causes you to feel that you are fulfilling a purpose or passion in your life, Take some time, some quiet time. I don't know whether you meditate or whether you pray or just sit quietly at the beach, someplace where you can get quiet and be able to hear that inner voice of wisdom, that inner voice of peace that can direct you. And when you listen and you follow those directions, ooh, it's so good. <laughs> it is, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. So I encourage you, 
do that. And if you're already in your pursuit, you can be happy with me because you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, that's it for today. And um, you have a wonderful and a happy today. <sighs> and move forward with your life. Bye-bye.